Mm, we'll save this for that. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's working. Okay, hello everyone. I am streaming for guys. Yay! Okay, I don't know how <clears throat> well this is going to work or whatever because I'm testing stuff out, but I don't know. Just gonna play for the guys. Not gonna be that long of a stream, probably now. Not now, I'm watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, oh, sorry. Let me just delay my stream just for you. <laughs> Back it up. Street, streams, streams delayed. Well, I like these to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Anyway, I'm just playing the Lily. Well, I'm not gonna play that much Lily Lipers again. I'm not a Lily Lipers stream, but he played like four rounds of Lily Lipers a day. Like, God. I like, there are there, there there were people who fucking were streaming Lily Lipers Lily Lipers custom streams for like what? Christmas Day, there we go, got the words out, bloody hell. So yeah, this, I know the win, it's full of sweats. But I'm just like, I'm just playing because I can. How dare you go live on your April Moon. <laughs> well, you being a April Moon is part of the reason why I'm live, because like, what else, what else do I do? It's, it's not like I can call anyone. <laughs> <laughs> delay stream now. No. I am not delay stream. But yeah, there's nothing else good really do. You know. So yeah, it's just Lily Belimbo. Maybe I should stream more. Like, I've been doing way too many streams recently. <laughs> I'm out doing myself. Give me a three workers in the chat, oh yeah! I'm gonna be pure. I, I'd be pure. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm sweatiest four guys lobby. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> they call it the sweatiest four guys. Uh, and these are the players that play. Yeah, these are the players that typically play. The sweatiest for all guys. <laughs> like people who have not played a game since either 2020. No, just 2020. Because they came back over 3 4. And then, you know, they never came back to this game afterwards. Like, God, it's still hilarious looking at fucking Kojas for Lily Leaper speedrun. Even, whoa! Like, he got excited because he thought he got the speedrun. Even though it, it was, like, pretty much the Four Guys community average, you know, Lily Leaper's run. Like, it's what they usually do most of the time. So it's just hilarious. Four Guys Season 6 ended before GTA 6 came out. God, Four Guys of Switch came up before GTA 6. <laughs> Four Guys Mobile came up before GTA 6. Well, probably will. It's not out yet, but... Like, every five minutes, every leak is going, It's coming out soon! 
Same must be coming out soon. <laughs> Good, just, good day, Jeeva. Stick the Pac Man on Hexagon. WW Sweaty Boys. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, it'd be the only time for a guy's Twitter account to actually acknowledge someone. I mean, it's a big ass streamer. You saw him that girl at the game. And he usually go, Oh my god, you're the goat. You're so good. <clears throat> Is Muffin still suspended from Twitter? Yes. She's still using Miffed Muffins. I got blocked. Oh. <laughs> I am I am holding back every fibre in my body, not to say <clears throat> that certain game company that owns four guys is bad. Every every fibre in my body. <laughs> You're still alive. Yes, I am still alive. Come tutorials. I hope come tutorials does not come back. Come tutorials is um, what's a character? Your five appendix tendis, tendencies tendencies thing have increased over the past four months. You don't know why. Well, <clears throat> you're just weird. Maybe you're going insane because. Making that many bad rounds would make someone go insane because you have to play them. You know, you need to play test them also. So I would go insane if I was making rounds like that all the time. <clears throat> That's for sure. Big kind of fun, but no. Oh, there's no one. No, I'm not gonna fuck it. Come on, there's like a golden dragon in it. What the fuck? How did I win Lily Leaper's Limbo? I guess I have a sweat. <laughs> Sheesh, boy, why'd you cry as a four guys? W, 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 O. It's a five or maybe King for GT is six. Yeah. <laughs> Fine grinder took a bit before. Many things happened before GTA 6. That's safe to say. Shut up, Loom. No, you're not hidden, Sparker. Creepy old cat was weird ass. Yeah, that was a interesting account. I don't, I don't know who that was, but, yeah. You think Limbo plays as a what he grieved PSMP? Yeah, I saw, I saw the chat he did in the P's. Um, <clears throat> it does kind of make sense, because Limbo plays literally from Christy and seems to be coming back some more. Maybe Limbo plays as the what he made the Green P or can't even. I don't know. Because... I don't think he would be the most woke individual, judging by, well, yeah, what he did. I don't think he would be the most woke individual out there. Leo was the only person that was related to me that called by your real name. Since he knew, knew him before Green Pea was a thing. Jeez. Long time ago. Dylan. Yes, <laughs> Dylan, Dylan is just weird to say for me because that's my brother's name. So it's just like, Dylan. It's just like, that's also my brother's name. So it's just like, <laughs> it's just a bit, it just, you know. I don't know, I guess it's weird to have. Another Dylan. Wow. <laughs> well, the thing is, 
It could be also just someone wants to be all spooky, creepy, mysterious. Because I've had someone do that before. They go, all oh, right, and they said my real name, and I was like, yes, my real name is public on my profile. That's not, is that supposed to be creepy? <laughs> Like, I, oh, what was it called? The posts on the PSMP might hit at something who it is. Something called Storm or something. It said Rip Bozo and the P blown up. I don't know. It might be that. Limbo has no reason to you. Now, the thing is with Limbo is that he just randomly said the N word a bunch of times on. Greenpeace stream, and then yeah, Greenpeace just completely cut them off because wow, who, who, who the fuck wants to talk to someone who says the N word for no reason a bunch of time under? Yeah, 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 you know. So uh, yeah, he has one reason not to really look, like, <laughs> you know. And uh, again, because he said the N word a lot of times. You know, he's probably not the most rogue individual either. So he probably is also probably violently homophobic and transphobic. So again, probably another reason. I don't know. I don't know Limber that well, but he did something really bad and he cut him off. Yeah, it's like it's like this is a bit bad, Green Pea cut him off. That's understandable. Why is that 60 players thing? I don't know. Apparently there's supposed to be 60 players in this lobby. Okay, thanks, game. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's an understandable thing to do, it's just, you know, some people might not respond well to shit like that, you know. You don't deserve the pleasure, Master P. Why did Abby say that? God, it's fucking porn addiction. Oh, I'd be said what? I'd be, I'd be said you don't deserve the pleasure of masturbation. <laughs> That's what I'd be said. I think he's because he was caught being a minor in an 18 plus server and he started fucking harassing someone for getting banned on it. And this was back in like 2020, so ages ago. Sixty plays, OG Four Guys is back. Yeah, wholesome legacy Four Guys. OG wholesomeness. God. Some people would literally be fucking ecstatic when the sixty plays come back. Muffin will probably die because she loves quick solos. Bloody hell, they like. <laughs> Fear would be happy, but Fear's not here anymore. I'm pretty sure Fear was like really pissed when they loaded it to 40 players. I guess the 60 players is an iconic number for four guys. But at the same time, there isn't much of a difference between 40 and 60. But again, especially how, you know. Can I stop? Oh, for fuck's sake, can I stop ragdolling or just messing up? Oh god, I'm not even gonna make it, wow. Okay, you figured it out, it's probably is Limbo. You would have no reason to know you have a Minecraft album. The thing is with Limbo, he has been coming back recently. 
He sent Green Pete a, a friend request, so he is looking, I guess. He is looking around. But I don't know. Who fucking says that? I, I get Amphi's an interesting individual, let's say to least. Yeah, my life is disgusting freak. Assertive bad. It's me, it's Limbo is... I would not be surprised if Limbo is a homophobe and transphobe. I would not be surprised. Again, he said that... He, he turned into an edgelord. He said the N-word many times. You know. Like, again, someone who for his... You know, a white person who just casually drops the N-word. Like that. Is probably not going to be, you know, very rogue. <laughs> That's all. They're probably not going to be... You typically, you know... When, when someone's racist, you know, tr homophobia and transphobia comes along with it. Again, another place I'm pretty sure is in that age demographic, you know, with that the Sigma male fucking 12 year olds YouTube shorts, you know. I get this Yeetus I, I, I can, I might not. I said if I got this Yeetus I was gonna say if I got this Yeetus fight, I would make it, but I fucked up twice. He's, he's actually calling me a for it, if you care. The thing is, a lot of people do support gay people, but also tra or transphobic. Like, again, have you seen LGB? You know, that 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 shit is basically just gay people who are transphobic. That that's literally all LGB is. Or his mindset is worse. And again, yeah, again, he could have you know watched way too many Sigma YouTube shorts and <laughs> become one of. Again, it's like. Or, you know, or watch too many, you know, too much, you know, bad shit. Again, people can be fucking, like, pushed into, like, certain ideologies and shit by watching videos, especially at a young age. The funny shit is that he was so against it then, but back in 2021. Yeah, he was so against it, but then he was saying it all the time. Like, he probably watched, you know, too many fucking, like, fucking funny own the lips fucking type videos and Sigma shorts, and he was like, I'm gonna be like that. I, I want to be cool and um, edgy, you know. That's probably what happened. And again, you know, and just over time, it's just gone worse to the point where it's just full on transphobic, homophobic, you know, the, the, the whole lot. And now, you know, he's just harassing, you know, LGBT people for just existing. Again. That's a reason for him to do that. Again, just people just do that. They just fucking... If you've been on Twitter for five seconds, you 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 will know that fucking people. There are people who literally just spend their life just searching up the, the topic trans on Twitter and just fucking going around harassing, you know, trans people and shit like that. 
Okay, because the way that I made my Pokemon outpost about Go Pokemon Trousers on Twitter, I'm pretty sure only one of the actual tra one transfer was active on the Fall Guys community. Everyone else was some random person who probably just. It literally took half an hour, actually. And, but everyone else was just random people. You know, most of the. Like, just random transphobes. Again, they. Li and some of them were fucking well known transphobes. They need to go around doing this shit. Bruh, blood made the entire personality. That's the only guy who was somewhat in the Fall Guys community who was transphobic. Again, everyone else was just. You know, not actually a part of the Fall Guys community or anything like that. It's me, Lip. <laughs> 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 Fucking Fortnite. I could do a Fortnite stream, but Fortnite's kind of boring on your own. If I was gonna do, if I was to do a Fortnite stream, it would have to be someone. God, people putting novels in chat. Can't, can't be novels while snowballs are firing. Do not text to end four guys, kids. That's bad. Because I know if I start reading chat, that it's the get eliminated. It usually happens. This sounds good because it's legacy season. Uh, okay. okay, I can reach out now. He isn't in the Fall Guys community. Well, he isn't really in the Fall Guys community, but he has a lot of Fall Guys community member mutuals. So he, he kind of a, he, he kinda has a reason to see it. But he's still an asshole. You know, he's still an asshole. Still don't like him, obviously. to be succeeding in 1614. Oh, of course, the edgy 40 deal. The thing is, I can't say that for shit. I, I, I went through an edgy phase when I was 14 too. You know, but it's, it's just, you know, you, you're 14. You're a bit of an idiot when you're 14. I was, I was fucking not, not, I was the brightest in the bitch. Yeah, that's, that's just, I, but the thing is, I say it wasn't that edgy, you know. I didn't make it my whole personality, but I was a bit edgy. I would, you know, occasionally make that racist joke or that, you know, homophobic joke, even though I was, I am by now. To be fair, I was I knew I was back then. It's just kind of. It's just I don't know. I guess it was also my friend group. You know, they found all that shit funny. So yeah, that's a little confession. <laughs> but I'm not like that anymore, thankfully. I, I grew and changed as a person. Any last words be <laughs> overbased about his designs of the Limbus tank? Hey! Oh, bang! Are you feeling as a 14 year old since you're trans? Um, I don't know. I guess you're succeeding because you didn't become an edgelord. You, you should be glad you skipped the edgy phase. And just went straight to Rook. Because I didn't do that. I had to go through the edgy phase first before I get, became Rook.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Last line. Why, they, why did they even go there? What, 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 what? I don't know, I guess boredom. Boredom. E, the save point is focused on them, but this is a bad chance. <laughs> The P, the P law has a lot of interested individuals. <laughs> Collision of it was P Fortnite fans with the might of a stupid opponent. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I literally I, I barely played Fortnite. Like I played season one, like I played three games of like chapter one season one. Didn't play until I'm pretty sure mm. near the end of chapter one. Because my friends wanted to play and I played a few matches then. And then didn't play uh, until like OG. <laughs> yeah. That's where the lines come from. Interesting. Do I get it? Oh, that's... So yeah. That, that, that's what's... Yeah, so... I don't know much about Fortnite. Maybe I should go back and like, look, look at a video and look at all the lore and shit. So I could understand somewhat. <laughs> Not like it matters that much, because the law apparently has been reset or some shit. Like... There's barely... Well, well the law's like, go back to square one for the metaverse. Oh. <laughs> the fucking metaverse, to be honest. <laughs> The looks of Gino's Sundays. <laughs> I... <laughs> that's not, I don't even think that, that's not even the point of the law. That's just fucking a YouTube from now. <laughs> it's alone. Go get my son and fix. It makes, it makes it even funnier. It's just like... <laughs> no one knows the context. It's just so alone. Go get my son and fix this. It's not in the law. It's not in anything. It's just... Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Zero, three. I agree. Rapture makes you want to do the bad. Yeah, apparently you can't say that word anymore because it gives you bad. Okay, I am not green, but I am the Fleeman plug, so I might be able to get away with it. But again, I did get a warning for saying goodbye once on YouTube, so I probably won't say the word. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I once got a warning on YouTube because I said goodbye on every one of my streams. I, I tried to appeal it, but they just said, nah, what you did was... Despicable. You, you, you must be punished for your actions. 
Nikki, can you pause the stream for 40, 45 minutes? You get a haircut. Oh, we have to pause the stream. The uh, blind eyes get a haircut. See <laughs> No, I'm not pausing the stream. Eventually. There we go, I've made it. I've accomplished. I have made it in life. Never impossible. I watch a talk on guy. Oh fuck you, I went through that well before. Let me explain to my mother that I would wish a butterfly on Twitter to draw a new and a more date to be played again. Okay. You not understand that. I, I, I agree. Oh, I disagree. Depending on what is the best option to pick. Oopsie Legends. I don't even get the fucking round name one. Does no one got that gold ring? What the fuck? Yeah. Fact being 15. <laughs> Fact being number 15. <laughs> oh. That name was a bit <laughs> weird. The worst, she's the worst green I played. No, the worst green I player. Oh, yeah. 
She joined the fort. Oh, she actually joined. Okay. She as bad as me. Because I'm trash at Fortnite. He tried using shockwaves, Bill Porter. Is that the thing that, like, yeah, that's the thing that launches you? It doesn't kill. I do. Even I do that. It just doesn't kill. It only launches. Yeah. No one didn't storm anything, so she just she just laid it down and just hope hope for the best. It's kinda of how I play, just like throw random shit and hope for the best. <laughs> I don't remember why. I think she asked for it. I was like, sure, why not? She only treated once and then never again. <laughs> ah, Fall Guys Trivia. I, I need to treat the Fall Guys Trivia more. I have not treated in like forever. Getting back that's to the degree though. Um, at back, back, you're gonna love this. At back, back is gonna love dissected the green aisle trailer frame by frame. <laughs> It doesn't even do that much damage. It's just fun to fly around using it. <laughs> I do enjoy dissecting this frame by frame. <laughs> oh god, they were desperate. mascot horror games. Most of the time, the gameplay is pretty not very good in all of them. It's the lore that people are there for. Like, especially for, like, FNAF. Like, 90% of FNAF fans haven't even played the games. Like, majority of them haven't. They're only there for the lore and all that stuff. Are oh, you stupid idiot? There you go. Hello neighbor, Holy Castle's horror. That's the thing, people aren't there for the horror aspect or anything like that. It's the law. That's what it is. Again, for that is the same. Like, they knew they could just launch from that security breach in a broken buggy state because again, half the community ain't even gonna play the game. Five nights at four guys, it's better than the horses had both law and outstanding on There's barely any law to balance the four guys, but like the first game had no law. <laughs> like, the first game had no law. The second game now has law, though. But I don't know, I didn't put too much effort into the law. But 
But I guess the lore is more interesting than Fall Guys lore still. <laughs> wow, what a convenient match of Pep and Paul Potty for once. But again, like, like the only FNAF games I've played is FNAF 2, FNAF 4, and Security Breach. Oh yeah, and Peace and Rear Simulator. Those, I only played four out of the nine games. Like, I played Peace and Rear Simulator because it was free. I played for that too because I wanted it as a kid. I, and I played for that four because my dad just randomly bought it for me one day. Like, I didn't ask for it, he just bought it for me. Oh no, no, oh no, no. <laughs> oh, this, no, this game show is great. <laughs> oh, that's up. There were probably so many poor innocent kids who did not know what that word meant and just fucking. and just kept singing it, not knowing what it meant. Oh god. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I. Uh, listen, yeah, I listened to the songs back in the day. Even the FNAF 1 and 2, 3, 1. I listened to those songs. I don't really like them that much. But you know, I did listen to them. Again, I didn't know what fucking rape meant. <laughs> God, what, what a fucking lyric. The lyric! God, looking back at that song, the, the first song was actually alright. It was decent. The second one, to be fair, I completely forgot how it goes. The third one is ass. It's an ass song. Oh my god, the lyrics... I say the lyrics is the worst part. It does not fucking rhyme. It does not fucking match up. It, it just doesn't flow at all. It's just like, yeah, and then the fucking lyric choice, so many cuts <laughs> what the fuck, Limba Trap, oh my god, Story of Greener, <laughs> you can play your tapes and temporarily distract me baby, <laughs> that, there's too many words first. But they still just shoved it all in, so you can play your tapes and temporarily distract me, baby. Oh my god. I just thought I don't have the game. Dude, I need a fucking verification. Oh my god. I need to put this in my streams playlist too. Limbo, but stuck in a mechanical fall guy. <laughs> Me when I get temporarily distracted. <laughs> my death. <laughs> Flashing red lights make me mad. God, the lyrics, it's so bad. I say, I, th I think the reason why the third one's so bad because he, a lot of, he probably just give it up, you know, it's just like, God, because I think a lot of people, a lot of YouTube content creators and music makers, I do remember back in the day were quite annoyed at how many games Scott was releasing. Because FNAF was popular, so you had to make FNAF content to get a bunch of views. But people didn't want to make for that content anymore. But fucking Scott was releasing so many games at once, and people were kind of forced to. I think that was what was going on. It's like 
Because the first two songs are actually all right, the ones he made. They weren't, you know, the best, but they weren't absolutely horrible like the third one. I think, you know, by the third one they kind of got a bit, eh, uh, couldn't be bothered and, you know, had to rush it out a bit. I decided to just write a story for the Telfin Avi musical. <laughs> story for the Telfin Oh god, he makes the best songs. And his voice box is shredded so you can't say that. Colonel Hell. Oh, remember. It's the limbo end machine still up. I don't even know. I, I did clip at one point. But Green Pea probably deleted it because she's scared about getting banned from YouTube. She so you gets like a warning every five seconds from YouTube. <laughs> He couldn't be asked to make an actual catchy good song, so he was sort of just saying to him, I don't consent. I guess another thing is that humour was different back then, to be fair. Again, it goes back to like edgy jokes and shit like that. It was. That type of humour was probably also more acceptable back then. But, yeah, now it's like, okay, yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> That's just weird. And I think also back then we didn't know that the Night God was actually his son. I think if he would make the song now, I don't think he would put that line in. <laughs> You're very dead for greatest apology of could have been. I don't know what your dairy death did, and I honestly didn't care. I don't care about his apology or anything. Okay. So yeah, I just yeah. Guy with the end dairy simulator. I watched like four videos of it like back in 2017 I think. It was a long time ago. How long has this game even been in development for? A long time. I remember watching, you know, videos of it back in like 2013, maybe even 2012. Nine years those I think it's always been eleven. Or something. No, I would, I think it was before FNAF. It was definitely before FNAF. I remember watching videos of it well before FNAF. But I don't, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was, if it was probably 2013 or 2012. I remember watching videos of it. But that doesn't mean it, you know, came out then. It could have came out beforehand. Oh, look at Spasm! We can be going back to the old VP. Sigma B. Old Grapey was better because 
She was so shit ruined. Super straight, but now she became rogue. For one month, because you do think you really go back to the old thing called Flumo G. What would be Flumo G? <laughs> what would that even be? I don't know. I was rook back then. Uh, The flu blood last us. The flu blood lasts around. That's what I really think. Yeah, the flu blood gene would be me stupid complaining about my bit rate, playing customs back in Legacy Season 4. Um, with, a, with the worst microphone known to man. That's. That's that's what uh would be for the emoji. <laughs> Please the easier app to still the flourish you edgy joy but so creepy it can be cured. <laughs> you must go back in time. <laughs> and get blue off the menu show Shh. the green people not going to her streams. And would become not rogue. And we must get both off the menu too. Good feed for the super. <laughs> yeah. Over it. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> the sweatiest wall out game. That's right. Make room back in time to the first flu and plug suit to get customs off the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Never did that 4p5 custom stream. <laughs> the talking pen GC wouldn't have happened. That is for sure. That one stream. <laughs> oh no, playing against a sweat. Look at that. Ah, oh, I hate this one. Oh, the stupid, stupid sweat. Now I need to actually start sweating. I haven't sweated four guys in like fucking years. Ugh. But again, I, I I don't typically sweat this game anymore. Oh. 
Oh god. This is a close one. Oh, where is it? Is that? No, no. Oh. oh, how did I not get that? What the? I run! Ah! Phew! No button bashes from each this time. Why do you have green pea so Because people are obsessed with green pea, that's why. I don't know why, but she has a simp fan base. Get me going back into old green pea. Goose guy, I don't even remember who Goose guy is. Like, I'm not an OG talking about GC member. Like, I think I was added in the old group chat. But I left it like every time I was added because I was annoyed how many times I was pinged. <laughs> I would just always leave. Until the new group chat came around and I was like, I'm guessing I'm not leaving this place. And then it would go. I was like, oh, sure, why not? Let's join the court. And that would proceed to change my life forever. <laughs> Apparently that door is like the rarest door. Open. I've been looking up at lost temple tips and tricks. Oh. This is like the typical sweat. I became a woman, thanks to me. I became drunk. I, I got infected by the rogue Wi-Fi was according to Elon Musk. <laughs> uh, me and woman. Floom, <laughs> be honest with me, do you look like you're begging me a life? Yes, I do. I do look like Maggie. I wish, I fucking wish I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I fucking wish I did. It's a weird trans goal, I guess. Maggie from SMG4. I think of that. It's better than that incest skill. Someone fucking probably unironically posted an egg in my life. God, egg. Egg in my life. <laughs> what a place. Wish you were like SMG3 Mill Life! SMG4! Egg in Mill Life, worst of it ever. Probably contending up there, you know. You want the contestants. Oh, yeah, that was my V. So, one of the four guys on Reddit posted that. They... Yeah, someone got proposed in four guys, apparently. It's like someone made a map in four guys. You know, say, will you marry me? Like, <laughs> uh, 
will you marry me? <laughs> I probably saw what proposes the board, guys. And, and the fucking... Apparently the girl got really excited really loved, loved it. <laughs> That's the funniest part, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I think she, she probably said yes. <laughs> if my future partner does not propose to me four guys, they're not my partner. Fucking Paris, Disney lad. Ugh. They must propose to me in the four guys meta first. This is what Tim's really intended. If they don't propose to me in four guys, they're not my true love. Ah. Uh, you fucking bass. No! Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is recoverable. There you go. Can he give birth in the peace gauntlet? <laughs> yes! How the better person can I just if my baby is not bored in four guys? Is it really my child? <laughs> Oh for fuck's sake, oh god. This is the my worst like science script of one ever. <laughs> uh. You could do many things. <laughs> Who's in the living room be a big case of four guys going in that part <laughs> over by Sons of the Beat? Yes! It's the land, Paris, um, Rome, Beach, nah, four guys. The funniest point is that he wasn't even, the dude wasn't even there. Literally, he just took the map to the girl and said, oh, play my map, please. Apparently it was like a really hard map, and at the end it said, will you marry me? So he wasn't even there. <laughs> he wasn't even there. It was like, it, like, it was a really hard map called Tough Love. You don't know if you should find this wholesome or pathetic. I, I say it's wholesome, but also a bit... It's unusual. <laughs> That's what I say. It's an unusual way. But you know. Why be an NPC and propose on the fucking Disneyland Paris or some shit? When you could propose in the meta first. It would be kind of wholesome to do something that. Yeah. I think the bad part is that literally the dude just sent it to her and like, alright. Oh, this is my map, it's very hard. Apparently they were both happy about it, so... You know, who's actually winning in this, in this situation? Or maybe they were playing it on Switch and they were at a beach the sunset at Disneyland Paris and fucking explosions and fireworks. Maybe that was the case. Speaking about the metaverse, we are playing the co-op pulse of metaverse, but this is this is not better first, this is unity. Uh, the betrayal. <laughs> Romantic take out a fancy restaurant to some of the peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't imagine Stendrick making a video. <laughs> Listen to my girlfriend! 
But I can't choose the colour blue challenge. Just the colour blue. She said no. But if she says no, that that that's a good thing because you can make more. Listen to my girlfriend again. I can't choose the colour red. <laughs> This game's giving me a lot of button bashes for some reason. Any post that F and F got me like a rainbow aisle. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um <laughs> Yes, the metaphors is calling. Okay, I'm playing as someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah, they really don't know what the fuck they're doing. Oh my god. <gasps> they grabbed me! They kinda know what they're doing. Who the hell is TD Season? I don't know who they are, but they send me a friend request. Oh no! <gasps> I think their older brother took over. Oh no. What the fuck is this there? Teeny season has sent me another phone press. This guy desperately wants me to uh, play. People met him walking league matches and ended up marrying how? Most people in walking league matches are telling each other to hit like end themselves and bloody put each of the N word, every slur of the book and at each other's throat. <laughs> God. I guess people can meet and become have relationships in such weird ways, I guess, these days. F and F got me like it might honestly be the worst thing to ever exist. Yeah, that is a pretty shit name. <laughs> F and F got me like. Twice? That was you <laughs> playing four kinds of dudes. Ah, oh, just as the epic metaphors intended. Meeting in Rocket League, proposing in Fortnite, and then playing duos in four guys. For the honeymoon. The epic metaphors. You will get married in the meta first. Friday Night like, Funky got me like. Ah, Friday Night like, Funky. Friday Night like, Funky's ass. Like, it's just some poorly made rhythm game. That's all it is. I don't really know why it got really popular in the first place. I guess it's mods, I guess. But I have a devil other way. Okay. Okay, for some reason, just kind of split. <laughs> My stream just fell off, aren't I? Why am I copying? Of course, when I'm copying, I get bloody grab. I'm cocking alive right now. Yeah, didn't didn't they like fucking like lolly porn or some shit? Who is TD season and why they're really desperate to get on my friends list? <laughs> oh god, I'm dying.
Yeah, but it's a credit to EDC. I don't know who you are, but you're on my fence list now. Mods are the only reason why the game is relevant to show up. I won't say it's only just mods. Okay. I guess I'm... Oh god, that reminded me. Something Theo said that really pissed me off. Like, I think F and F fans were complaining about the one the next week's taking too long to come out. And then Theo came out like, oh, these F and F fans will never understand what it's like waiting for the next Fall Guys season. <gasps> it's TD season! I'm gonna play. I don't know who this is. <laughs> yeah, like, if this was not even doing season six, this was doing legacy season five. <coughs> well, like, I think that has been waiting a year. For the next week. Oh, but no, four months is too long. <laughs> Why am I coughing so much? What are you saying? Make you play tough love. No, this, this, this is more like an eight year old kid. I'm not fucking composing. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Dude, all that I know, this could be just a random person that I didn't mean solos. They're probably all like eight years old or some shit. Yeah, the biggest of Fall Guys, Fall Guys has never had that bad of a content drought. Like, I'm pretty sure Rocket League had a nine month content drought at one point. Fall Guys! Now, yeah, Fall Guys have, you get, who have pretty long content droughts. But it's never near as bad as you get in some games. Some games you can get years for content drought. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, why am I coughing so much? Well? No reason. <laughs> some game says community has waited years or that there's some sort of new chapter or something, yeah. Yeah, because Fall Guys has never been. It, we've had it pretty good. Again, I think I've, the thing is, a lot of these Fall Guys fans have actually not played other games. That's the thing. This dude is just not working. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck yeah. There we go. TD season. Yeah, I think a lot of these four guys fans have not actually played other games. Again, as a Splatoon player, you can, we, we have fucking like content droughts that can last two years. <coughs> no idea how I'm gonna fucking die. Bloody hell. But the thing is, I say the, the, like, the two year long wait for Splatoon 3 was not that bad because I had four guys to fill in that drought. So yeah, it's just 
four, four guys have never had that. Again, I say five months for an online game as big as four guys is pretty bad. But at the same time, it's nowhere near as bad as some other games get. Some games can literally have ye years. It was a 20 month wait for Spatting 3. Yes, it was very long. <laughs> 20 months is almost two years. And yeah, this was like no content updates. Again, Spatty 2 got no content updates during this time. It got like a few patches, but that's about it. Again, if your only game was Splatoon, <laughs> you would be fucking bored. And I know a lot of Splatoon fans that only game are Splatoon. I say the majority of the Splatoon community, the only game they play is Splatoon. So yeah. <laughs> Last content that they put back into was April 2019. Well, I kind of, kind of count, counted the Splatfests as content. Kinda. But you're right. The last time Splatoon 2 got proper content that they was 2019. So technically it was three years without any content. <laughs> Yeah, so again, imagine, so yeah, we, <laughs> Splatoon fans had fucking <clears throat> three years of no content, because Splatoon fans, they are kind of content, but again, they were only reruns, I'm pretty sure only one of them was actually brand new Splatfest. Black Fest are only too long, and only the final fest had a new map ball here. Um, I think every Splat Fest in Splatoon 2 had a new map. No Splatoon 3, Splatoon 3, fuck it up. Splat Fest fell up hard in Splatoon 3, but Splatoon 2, Splat Fests were peak. They, they all had new maps, except the reruns. I'm pretty sure the Mario, the Mario Splat Fest didn't have a new map either. I'm pretty sure that was just... You know, yeah, that didn't have a new map either. So yeah, technically Final Fest is the last content update. But, but yeah, after the Mario Spark Fest, we had nothing. There was nothing. <laughs> Yes. It's probably one of the reasons why I went through a period of just not liking Splatoon, not played it. It's just, what's the point? There's been no content updates for like two years, for a year already, even four guys at least. Oh god. Oh god, this camera's bad. Oh, I hate that so much, but get off me! I'm not. I'm a bird, yes, but I'm not a bloody penguin. I'm a duck. Oh, for God's sake! I hate this one. I hate. Oh, can oh, TDCs. 
Splatoon is a literary life service game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, people call it a life service game, but it's not really. Like, they released the game, update it for a year or two. Then, you know, abandon the game completely and then release another one. It is not really a life service game. I just don't like how Spatting is just working at the moment. Again, I said the big problem is that, you know, they release the Spatting game. You know, it comes with a lack of content, a bunch of issues, you know, and all this shit. You know, they, they do progressively fix, like, half the issues over time. <clears throat> it usually ends up getting a lot of content and stuff. And then the game usually at the end ends up being pretty good. And then they fucking completely abandon it and then fucking make a new game. Where they do that whole process again. Lack of content, bunch of issues and shit. Update it. There you go. Some more of an alright game. And then they fucking do it again. Like, I, I, I just don't like how they keep doing that. Like, I did not want a Splatoon 3. I just wanted them to keep updating the Splatoon 2. Because I guess Splatoon 2 kind of has a reason to exist. Again, the Switch was that out. Again, new new console, new Splatoon game kind of makes sense. Splatoon 3, in my eyes, is nothing but a cash grab. That's all Splatoon 3 was. Okay. Splatoon 3 was nothing but a cash grab. Nintendo was like, oh, we want more money. So they fucking rushed out another fucking Splatoon game on the same console. Just shut it out, you know, bunch of issues. Way less content than the first, than the second game. But you know, they could update it later at least. I used to play Spotted all the time, back like Premier 7. God. <laughs> okay, I didn't really play that much back in the Spotted 1 days. I played the game a lot for like a month or two, and then just stopped playing it. I just got bored of it. The system is weird. Yeah, it is a weird system. Okay, I, I don't think it's the system is that bad. I think it's just the way they're handling it. I wouldn't mind that much if each sequel actually fucking launched with sequel-worthy content. Okay, Splatoon 3. I'm still struggling to see why that became a sequel. Like, at least Splatoon 2 had Salmon Run. Splatoon 3 is just like, and, you know, and was on a new console. Splatoon 3 is just like, <clears throat> the only new major addition is the single player campaign. And even then, I'm, I'm buying the game for the multiplayer. Again, I'm not, I'm not paying for it, for the, you know. Again, yeah, the single pl the single play campaign is cool, but it, it is not the fucking reason why you pay play and pay for Splatoon. It's really not. Like Splatoon Three. Again, it's been six years since we got a new ranked mode. Again, six years since Club Bits came out. It's been six years. That's embarrassing. <laughs> And again, Turf War is still the main mode and it hasn't changed. No, the only mode that actually changed in, since Splatoon 2 was Rainmaker. That's the only mode that's changed. They added checkpoints to it. Basically everything... I, I, I say Splatoon 3 is just Splatoon 2, but with like a few new weapons and every stage now sucks ass. That's Splatoon 3. It's honestly... It's just... <clears throat> I still don't get why they release it. Because Salmon Run is really similar in my eyes too. It's just like, there's a few new bosses and you can throw eggs now, but... Wow. And like, and people are just going, oh yeah, but you can uh, squid surge and squid wall. That's sequel worthy. What? 
new movement options. Fuck it, ball guys added that in a two, three updates. Come on, that's not a sequel worthy feature. Okay, nothing is Platinum 3 screams sequel to me. Because at least Platinum 2 <coughs> had all new specials, it had, you know, it had, you know, uh, you know, improved some features, it was on a new console, complete, you know, completely different um, art style, you know, and it had Sabbath Run and shit like that. Should you make your return to the Splat first? Summer Moon has had a dwell on the Razor 3 and I'm bored. But okay, Summer Moon is better than 3. But again, it's just like... It should be, it's literally just incremental improvements. Again, that's the thing with Splatoon 3. It's just little improvements that they could have just added to Splatoon, Splatoon 2, really. And the updates are some. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Some like they added like what three new bosses. They added the, uh, and then they added the uh, uh, extra rave. And well, that at launch, that all that's all there was. There's now big one. The big one's just a glorified leaderboard. Um, an extra is just a glorified leaderboard. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, I don't think Splatoon 3. The Splat first, the, the, the Splatoon meta first. Nintendo never grasps the concept of a meta first. <laughs> Either shitty battle from 2 or returns or new king. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just... Yeah, another thing I don't like about Splatoon 3 is the seasons. Because I wanted seasons in Splatoon. <laughs> but when I said seasons, I expected something like Fortnite or Four Guys. Not what they did. <laughs> it's all they all seasons really do is just it's just arbitrarily make us wait more for the same amount of content. Like, even though we're getting the same amount of content as we did in Splatoon 2 with updates, <coughs> we're just waiting more in between updates. I much more for them, you know, release a new weapon or variant every, like, week, instead of just making us wait three months and then releasing the same amount. Again, it's just... <coughs> yeah, bro. Again, it just kind of, you know, make the game... Because the thing is with, for, for Splatting Seasons also is that in between, you get fuck all, really. You get the launch of the season, and then you get a Splatfest that introduced, that is really much new content at all. It, again, yeah, you basically get the release of the season and then nothing. And then nothing for the rest of the fucking season. I think that's the problem. It's just the droughts in between seasons. Again, I think what would improve it a lot if they just, you know, didn't just drop all the content at the start of the season, you know. What? Oh yeah, I guess it's doing something playing with mini season. Okay, thanks, dear. I think what would make it better is that they release a coup. Cool yeah, you know, like like a few content, maybe like you know, one map at launch, you know, maybe in one weapon kit, and then just you know, just you know, release them over the period of the season. I think that would you know make it feel a bit better. So it doesn't feel like we're just getting a huge batch of content and then just nothing for three months. Again, I think another problem is, and again, I think this also wouldn't be as bad if Splatoon Seasons had themes and lore and shit to it. Because at the moment, it just feels like they're arbitrarily just 
restricting content because they can for the seat. It's just yeah. I just that Maybe I don't mind that they struck the damage as much as Some people fucking hate it. I I get I would prefer if they release, you know, a, more of a stream of content and just fucking release the whole back of content at once. But um Yeah. May as well get the gold loop because it's the fucking closest hoop to get. <laughs> Go back to the system to had a few months after the launch. And I had inky catalogs every few months and had more meaningful additions. Yeah. <laughs> but I miss Splatoon. I, I miss 2018 slash 2019 Splatoon. I say that was the peak of Splatoon. Like, 2018 says 2019. That was the peak. You know, I, I say the game was. Even though it was Splatoon 2, the game was, you know, so as its best. Auto expansion just came out. You know, I say Splatoon was getting quite a decent amount of attention. You know, there's tournaments and shit like that. You know, and the community was quite interested back then. But I, yeah, I, I say it was that was peak Splatoon. For me, the Splatoon three just has too many issues, and Splatoon three just I think hasn't done enough. It hasn't done enough to get to convince casuals to pay for to get the game. It's why the game, um, like, sold 10 million in, like, yeah, that's why the game sold, like, 10 million units in, like, a month, and it just stopped selling. Again, because all the Splatoon fans bought it, in, especially in Japan, and then no one else did, because all the casuals just didn't really, couldn't tell the difference between Splatoon 2 and 3. So it's just like, yeah, most casuals, which is which is also why most lower ranks in Splatoon 2, 3, just are completely dead. Like, trying to find a match in A, B, you know, ranks is is a struggle. You, you, you frequently just can't find a match anymore. It sold the most copies in lose amount of time in Japan. Yeah. As I said, it sold a fucking a lot of units, and then just stopped, like literally. That, that like that again, it did sell a lot at launch. It did break records, but then it just stopped selling. Because the thing is, in Japan, ball cap. The fuck, guys. I mean, Splatoon is kind of like Fortnite in Japan. It's just a really popular multiplayer game. The people do call it the Fortnite of Japan. That's why it sold so much copies of Japan. But it's also at the same time why it just stopped selling. Again, it just didn't really... <clears throat> it just didn't really do much to get casuals on board. Again, it's like, most of the casuals just looked and went, Oh, I already have Splatoon 2. And they literally look identical. So they just didn't buy free. Like, of course all of the Splatoon fans bought, um, Splatoon 3, they were always going to buy it. Again, it's the reason why it sold so many copies, just boom, especially in Japan. And then it just stopped selling. Yep, TD Season's still here. <laughs> we all love TD Season.
Oh, he's, oh shit, TDC changes their costume! <laughs> Side door would be good at least. Probably. It'd probably be alright. Well, one thing I do like the look for side order is that it actually looks somewhat different. Because the splatty single player campaign isn't very innovative either, to be fair. <clears throat> I also expressed you, yeah, did you know, innovate a little bit on it. But at the same time, a lot of Octa expansion was also quite similar with, you know, floating platforms and joint blocks. I think, I think that's what they need to go away from. They need to go away from just the floating platforms of boxes that you break on formula. Which is what they seem to be doing, because yeah, it's roguelite. It is good, because again, it, it was just getting boring. It's just like... Like, again, it's just like... <clears throat> Most of the levels are just look the same. They're quite dull, boring. Again, it, you know what? It, it, they look like four guys' cr early creative rounds. Yeah, that's what they look like. You know, the early Media Tonic Solar Show creative rounds. Just a foot. It's literally just a bunch of floating blocks with barely any theming or anything. That's what Splatoon single player campaign um, gauntlets are like. Yeah, the auto expansion was a bit better because it, you know, at least had some theming and had, you know, levels that weren't just floating boxes and shit like that. But it also did have some of them like that. Probably because every story is in the ground. I guess, but it's just like... You know, it could have some more theming and it, Thieving and shit, like you get, you could have, again, underground, you could have a cave, um, a cave level in a cave. You, again, just look at the overbuilds, they have more theming and shit, you know, it's Spatty 1, there was a skate park, I don't even know what the first area is supposed to be, the second area had like fucking, and like fucking power lines and shit, again. In Spatty 2, you know, there were like grass areas and shit like that. And then Spatty 3, you know, there were fucking buildings. Just again, it's just. Just because it's underground doesn't mean the cap, it just has to be floating box, bo blocks. Again, I'm not saying every level needs a completely different theme, you know. It does need consistency, but it needs something more... Because for Splatoon 1, I guess it made sense, you know. Again, it was the first game, you know, they were experimenting. The second game, kind of, but by Octo Expansion, I was like, yeah. Especially how Octo Expansion is kind of in a different setting. Even talking about Peter game again. Stop talking about stupid tune. <laughs> but I mean, Fall Guys weapons. I said, I said the Splatoon levels are like early Fall Guys creative rounds. Just a bunch of bunch of floating blocks. See, Ken, you can relate to that. Yeah, that's that's put it in Fall Guys terms. <laughs> But yeah, it seems like side order, they are fucking gonna stay away from that. But let me guess, they're probably gonna start just doing roguelike, roguelike, roguelike for like three other games. How do pedos even exist? <laughs> um I What a question. <laughs> what a question. <laughs> a question I never actually thought of that. Why do pedos exist? How do they exist? I don't know, I guess... It just kind of happens. <laughs> Side of the set looks... No, oh, I don't need to do that. Cooler, dead core and white black futuristic. Ah, uh, well... 
And you know what it reminds me of? Four guys SS4 <laughs> You can just bodyguards to this digital feet. <laughs> See, I put it in the four guys terms again. <laughs> the four guys bring what? God, I miss four guys fiends. They need to come back. Like, what makes some people attracted to little baby at the restaurant on this time? <laughs> um, I. <laughs> Why does racism exist? <laughs> I don't know. You get something up with their brain. <laughs> Someone's probably has studied it. <laughs> but I have not looked that up. <laughs> people of the way. Because people of the way people are brought up and exposed to. Because of the way people are brought up and they're exposed to. I guess that's sort of true. Again, there's some a part of that is probably like a part of it also. Map. Oh my god. Fucking map. Uh, the worst part is that. Maps was actually supposed to be a joke on 4chan. It's like, they made, like, I'm pretty sure it was like... Okay, thanks, game. I'm pretty sure it was made, f like, for some joke. Like, aha, look, imagine if a bunch of pedophiles, like, made their own LGBT movement. But then they, then they actually, then they, they actually did just pick up on the joke and just actually started just actually seriously doing it. My God, this map shit was bad. It was bad back in like fucking 2019, 2020. My God, you could not go on Twitter without seeing a fucking just a map, just a person just openly fucking just saying, oh, I like kids. Like, I've literally seen the cats that just say they're attracted to fucking, like, nine-year-olds or some shit. It's just, like, it was bad back then. It's not as bad now. No more TV season. Yeah, it's not as bad now. Oh god. Oh no, TD season's back. <laughs> TD season. Yeah, I'm feeling TD season is someone I'm probably going to have to um, <laughs> move on my friends list. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the whole squad is here. Basically, the reason why the problem is that's bad now is because um, you can't go on Twitter without seeing a bunch of bots. The bots drowns all the fucking pedophiles out. <laughs> but to be fair, I would much rather see a fuck of bots than fucking someone just openly saying they like kids because, you know, that's just. You know, I, it's, that is something you shouldn't be proud of. It sh it, you shouldn't be proud of, of at that. Yeah, party problem. 
Well, this is a season six all over again. It's going to probably probably all the time. Oh yeah, what do I mean? I, I did not stream during Legacy Season 6. Nothing happened during Legacy Season 6. I... I did not exist during Legacy Season 6. God, Legacy Season 6 made this insane. God, I, 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 oh god, a teammate ain't the best. A random is not the best of this game. You liked season six before, it was cool. Yes, for some reason people like season six now. It would be good if it wasn't long. Well, it was long, okay. Many things would be better if it didn't have the thing that made it bad. But it did have the thing that made it bad, so it was bad. But you could literally say that for anything. Lego Fortnite would not be bad if it wasn't boring. Yes, it, it, it wouldn't be bad if it wasn't boring. But it is boring. Some comparison. Yeah, I don't like LEGO Fortnite. I think LEGO Fortnite is boring. There's like nothing to do in it. To be fair, that's the problem with like almost all... That's, look, that's the problem with all of the new game modes Fortnite added into Fortnite. They all have a lack of content. They literally all have like almost no content. Like Rocket, Ra Rocket League Racing, all the tracks are basically the same and it's just like there's not much to do in it. Fortnite Festival is literally just a rhythm game. No story, nothing. It's literally just a rhythm game. Lego Fortnite has like nothing. Like, yeah, it's just nothing to do in the game. It's just like you can build, but it's like building the game is just really annoying and just. A UX disaster. And it's just so annoying how you can't, like, modify the train on LEGO Fortnite. And it's like, you just can't, there's no flat ground at all. So it's just difficult to build. It's just like, the only thing you can do in LEGO Fortnite is just difficult and just annoying to do. So it's just like, well, may as well just not do it. And again, you can build villages and shit, but that's just boring. It's like. I don't know, it's just building the a village just boring. It's just And yeah, people sort of realise that it's not very good. It is literally just build a village, build a village, build a village, build a village. Like I say all the modes were rushed. They were all rushed. Again, I say they didn't need to release all three of them at once. They really didn't need to do that. Like, Lego Fortnite is kind of the one that makes the least sense. It's like, why are you just Lego characters building on just realistic fucking terrain? It's just, it just doesn't fit. The terrain needs to be randomly generated Lego structures. 
and train and shit. It, that's what it really needed to be. God, the fucking mind's the, the the great the mind's greatest generations. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> try and figure out how to fucking play four guys. So <laughs> said that Pac-Man's deadly in this channel. Oh yeah, Pac-Man. I remember the <laughs> Pac-Man joke. The Pac-Man collab with four guys came out too late. God, if, if the Pac-Man club came out in SS3. God, that, oh, that would have been amazing. But yeah, it was too late. The, the, yeah, the jokes were over by that point. You can't force yourself. Oh, oh shit, I was. I didn't realise I was done on the ice tile. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God they fucking fixed that um, issue. What? I was reading the chat, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'll make this my final game, I'm just gonna end stream. Because I was planning on this being a short stream, you know. Someone cancelled the match, I'm thinking, okay. Who scored Scrabble? Okay, fine. We will play the fucking creative. Probably the PMB. I don't know. Yeah, I think I need must. I think they got bored. Bored of the flu. How could they be bored of me? You could never get bored of the flu. <laughs> Why did I dive? Why did I... Okay. I need to... Okay, yeah, it seems a lot of this round is just... I hope you don't ragdoll. You actually just don't fucking make it, okay. You do make it. 
Oh, no. Where's this geek trying to take me? Oh. Where's it want to take me? Oh, that's the finish line. Okay. I have li Lily recreations be the meta because people love Lily Leapers, that's why. You know, all these Lily Leapers speed run! W go go go! You know. There's a reason why there are literally 12 hour fucking Lily Leaper streams out there. Pedo map? Wait, pedo? Or oh, oh, is there a pedophile map in four guys? <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I think there was like a fucking Lily Leapers custom stream where he was like fucking, who did, who was a pedophile. Yeah. I, oh yeah, all to death, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, there, there are literally people out there that fucking stream Lily Leapers like 12 hours a day. Fucking how do you do that? I would go insane doing that. And some, some of them, some of them fucking do, did it on Christmas Day. Like, Jesus Christ, it's Christmas. I know you, you're streaming Lily Leapers. <laughs> oh, to death is that reason Lost Temple is not your favorite legacy season five map. Do not play Lily Leapers. It will turn you into a pedophile. It won't make you gay anymore, it will turn you into a peanut butter now. And one thing that surprises me is that there hasn't been that many cases of pedophilia in the Fall Guys community. Usually a gaming community um, like this, you know, for a kids game, usually it's just riddled, riddled with pedophiles. Exhibit, exhibit A, Splatoon. Like, to be fair, Splatoon doesn't have that many pedophiles anymore. And the Splatoon community is boring now. To be fair, it's just mostly people whining about Splatoon. That's literally what the Splatoon community is now these days. There's not that many pedophiles. But, but yeah. But yeah, Forecast just doesn't have that many people. I'm pretty sure there's one, two, three cases of it, and that's it. Which is not a lot. It's not a lot for a game like this. Usually, a game like this would have fucking one every other week. But in its three years of existence, there's only been three cases. <laughs> there's Ultra Death, S Kitten, and um, oh, someone in FGPI. It was a. And the big funniest thing is that two of the two out of the three pedophiles were girls. <laughs> but yeah, women can be pedophiles too. It's not, again, like, God. But, again, people just don't take that seriously, because most men just come and go, because they're fucking poor, addicted, fucking... It's incels come and go, oh, why, that, where was she when I was a, when I was a child? Like, shut up, incel. But, yeah, I'm going to end the stream now, because... Well, this was only supposed to be an hour long stream, but I fucking ended up streaming for the full two hours. My trademark. So, thank you all for watching. Um, 
I'm just gonna get going now. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm 